a lot of you have asked questions um, and made comments uh, about ketosis versus ketoacidosis, right? right? Uh, two terms that sound very similar, um, but they are miles apart in what they are. Right. One, one is uh, healthy uh, for your body, and the other one is potentially life-threatening for right. your body. Right. So we wanted to do a quick video on what the difference is. So if you are trying to get into ketosis uh, so that you can lose weight, what you are trying to achieve is nutritional ketosis. So why don't you go over quick what, what nutritional ketosis okay. is? Uh, so nutritional ketosis was actually a term coined by Stephen Finney and Jeff Bullock. They've done a lot of the early research uh, starting six, seven, eight years ago. I'm not even sure when. Um, and they define that as being 0.5 to 3 millimolar uh, on your, in your blood, on your little mm -hmm. monitor. Okay. Right. Uh, and some people can go a little bit higher than that, and, and that's you know, perfectly normal as well. But ket it, ketosis, nutritional ketosis, actually means that due to a low carbohydrate intake, you don't have glucose in your blood, and your body is producing ketones, which can then fuel your body, your organs, everything that you need to, to fuel. Right. So it is kind of like your body's alternative fuel. You're turning right. to it. And when your body is producing ketones, well, they are a byproduct of fat breakdown. So, right. uh, so you are burning, burning fat. So that's why there's uh, a, a desire to be in nutritional ketosis. Right. Now, the other end of the spectrum is, uh, comes into play when we have a type 1 diabetic or a really, really out of control type 2 diabetic because their bodies are not able to produce insulin. Um, so their bodies, therefore, cannot use glucose uh, because insulin is the hormone that, that is kind of the key that unlocks your cells and opens up the door so, they can, so that glucose can go in and be used as, as energy. Well, right. no insulin, no glucose being used, so their body is producing a ton of ketones. Right. And no insulin, no fat storage as well, which is why people who are oftentimes initially diagnosed with type 1 are losing tons of weight mm -hmm. um, for no apparent reason. I mean, unhealthily losing tons of weight. And typically that happens when you're younger, but it can happen at an older age. Yeah. Um, so, uh, so type 1s don't produce any insulin. Type 2s um, who don't produce much insulin can be in the same boat. So mm -hmm. they can be, get into ketoacidosis. And what happens is those ketone levels, because the sugar is in the blood and there's no insulin, the body is also taking body fat and using it for fuel because ketones do not need insulin to get into the cells and be used for fuel. So the body is trying to fuel itself as mm -hmm. much as it can. Those ketone levels raise, um, the body becomes acidic. Also, the glucose rev levels raise way up as well. And that's what leads to organ failure, um, a, a lot of the, you know, the potentially fatal, you know, complications of, uh, of, of diabetes. Yeah. Yeah. So, so that is really the, the difference. So if you have any concerns that you are uh, about going on a ketogenic diet and getting yourself into ketosis, uh, if you are not a type 1 diabetic or a way out of control type 2 diabetic, you don't have to be concerned about ketoacidosis. Right. Uh, we are talking about m very different ends of the spectrum. So uh, nutritional ketosis, you uh, will be in the range of 0.5 millimole per liter to 3, maybe maybe you could push up to 5. Right. When we're looking at diabetic ketoacidosis, we're to looking at 10 to 20 millimoles Way per up. liter. Way yeah, up. yeah. So, so uh, we just, you know, we've we've had the question. We just wanted to kind of shoot a video to help you to understand. You're doing great. You know, nutritional ketosis. You're you're fueling your vital organs. Diabetic ketoacidosis. You're harming your vital organs. Right. And if you're doing the ketogenic diet and you're not a diabetic, uh, or an out of control type two diabetic. Mm -hmm. um, you shouldn't have any worries. It's going to be safe for you, and uh, you'll be burning fat, and you'll be yep. reaching your goals. Yep, and if, if, if anything, uh, you, you do need to, to make sure that your doctor knows that you're um, following a ketogenic diet because the weight loss and the, the lower amount of sugar that you're taking in 
will most likely require you to alter your medications. So if you are a diabetic, you should not right, that's do a keto, uh, keto diet without letting your doctor know so that those medications can be adjusted. Yeah, I think that's good. Okay. All right. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Um, if you like this, if this was helpful, please subscribe, and we will be back real soon with another video. Real soon. We'll see you. Thanks.